Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Kayla Scott, and I will be introducing, it is my pleasure to be introducing my best friend and our valedictorian, Taylor Reed. Wait. Um, I have known Taylor since we were in kindergarten, and she's been one of my best friends ever since. I think we can all agree that Taylor is one of the most driven and hardworking people that we will ever encounter. She is admired by everyone, not just for how intelligent she is, or how hard she works, or how much passion she puts into everything, but for the fact that she never flaunts it. Just this year, a freshman actually approached her and said, you are my goals. I really look up to you. This surprised her so much, she never thinks of herself this way, but we all do. It is my ple pleasure to introduce my buddy, Taylor Reed. I promised, I promised everyone I wouldn't cry, and I'm going to try my best not to. Good evening. I would like to start off by thanking everyone, from God, to my parents and family, to staff and friends. Without each of you, I would not be able to deliver this message today. I just got back from George Washington University, where I'll be starting school in the fall. I had many options to choose from, and I have decided to take my talents to Washington, D.C., where I will pursue sports management with a minor in mass communications. I never expected to be going there, but over the past four years, or even eight years, what I have learned about Class of 2018 is that we are full of the unexpected. Today, I, Taylor Reed, stand before you as your valedictorian, a powerful, intelligent, athletic woman from Harlem who is off to change the world. <laughs> Through my years at HVA, I have learned that I am so many things. And when you fill out a survey or an application, you are supposed to check one box to identify yourself. Throughout our entire lives, society will attempt to force us into boxes. However, our presence tonight at Leonard Hall at Columbia University represents that we cannot, will not, and shall not be boxed in. The odds are stacked, us, stacked against us every day in this country. As people of color, we are expected to conform to stereotypical depictions of who we're supposed to be, not who we're destined to be. Not only do I refuse to fulfill any of these stereotypes, I know the class of 2018 refuses to do so as well. Let me tell you how we set the trend. We have a graduate attending an Ivy League institution. Lasan will be the first HVA student to ever attend Cornell University. And he is also the first Ron Brown Scholar in HVA's history. We had seven posse semifinalists and three posse finalists. But in true 2018 fashion, none of my peers took posse up on their offer. They accepted other scholarships instead. We had three New York Times College Essay Scholarship finalists. 100% of our class was accepted to college. Forty-four of us will be going to college on full rides. Yeah. 
and 21 of us will be going to college where we will not have to take out any loans. That means that we're graduating from college debt-free. How many other classes can say that? Big yourselves up to 2018. Additionally, we are the first graduating class that has gone through two years of the International Baccalaureate Program. Even though we were nervous, we did our best to excel and use one another to advance through our rigorous courses as a family. Shout out to my IB cohort. It was a struggle, but here we are. We did it. Now, we are also the class with the Lady Vipers varsity basketball family, which is a dream team that got to the final four in the public school athletic league. Our tenacious drive was birthed during our junior year because of the encouragement and support of the best coach and school dad ever, George Stork. We went two years undefeated in our regular season, the furthest in HVA history. I was the four-year captain, and shout out to my seniors on the team, Yugochi, Elizabeth, Fatu, Kayla, and our manager, Kayla. Yeah. Class of 2018 is truly a family, regardless of petty matters. We, people who don't attend HVA, would tell me that they wish their class was like ours. We play in the cafeteria and pit when school is over as if we were little brothers and sisters. We continuously support one another in academics and social life. Remember middle school, y'all? All my HVM peeps make some noise. Okay. <laughs> Till this day, when I go visit the middle school, I can hear our dean, Mr. Billups, saying, two feet, one box, one box between you and the person in front of you. Then there was Community Circle every Friday, which was the basis for how we grew together as a family. My friends and I even began to take a role in leading Community Circle. Countless chants from Heidi High to throw your bees up from Villanova in fifth grade was so much fun. And then in the blinking of an eye, we got to senior year where we spent countless nights in the college lab until 9 p.m. typing and reviewing supplements for our college applications. Whether it was studying for an IB biology test on neurons, or completing an essay for an English class, or completing your math IA, which was a 10-page essay in math, we did it, and it was all worth it. Today, we can bask in all of our hard work, which has led to wonderful memories, such as senior trip, where we had a pool party in 60-degree weather, and everyone was getting dunked or splashed, or prom, where everyone slayed and shouted dreams and nightmares. I even went up to people I haven't spoken to in years because it was such a great night. At prom, Rocco told me that he had never seen a class so united. And the result of our support for one another is clear. My peers were not afraid to open their scope of college possibilities outside of New York. Graduates from our class will attend college all over the United States. Students will be going to California, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Virginia, Connecticut, Michigan, Ohio, and of course, Washington, D.C. We will flourish in college and not become a statistic because we simply will not allow it. It is evident and apparent that no other class will be like ours. It is my hope, however, that the future graduates of HVA strive to surpass all of our accolades to keep the legacy of HVA's class of 2018 alive. Once again, I'm honored to be your valedictorian, and I want to thank everyone, and I mean everyone. My name is Taylor Reed, and I'm a black girl who rocks, and this... <laughs> and this is HVA's class of 2018, the class that rocks. So congratulations, we did it.